item for this beautiful Nisha Gandhi festival. We start from 15th of this February to this 21st will be one of the most devotional classical dance that is Manipuri dance Manipuri Rasanila In Manipur there have five different types of Rasanila like Maharas, Vashantaras, Gunjaras, Dipyaras and Nityaras. Among these five Rasalila, Vashanta Rasalila that we are going to present here is one of the most colorful Rasalila of Manipur. All these Rasalila have a season that they in the Govinda city temple. The first three Maharashtra, Vashantaras and Kunjaras is played in the Sri Sri Govindadi temple of Manipur. On Kartik Purima, if you visit Manipur, then you can see the Rasalila of Maharashtra. Chaitra Purima, Vashantaras, Aswin Purima, Kunjaras and the rest two Rasalila, Nityaras and Divaras can be played in any days in the local temple of Manipur and Divaras is played in the daytime and the rest for Rasadila is played in the midnight. That's the tradition. So we are bringing that image, that tradition to here. So now we are we will create this stage as a Vrindavana. So Rasadila is used to play in the Vrindavana Kunja. So, hope everyone is aware of the four yoga according to Hindu philosophy. No, me, there have four yon, four yoga that is Satya, Treta, Dwapur, and Kali Yuga. So, I am coming with the story of the Rasalila. Its yoga have a deities like in Satya is Lakshmi Narayan. Treta is Ramachandra, Sita, Dwapur is Radha Krishna, and uh, Kalki. Uh, Kali Yuga is Kalki avatar, and also we believe that Gauranga Mahaprabhu is also one of the avatar of Kali Yuga. So, in the Treta Yuga, I hope everyone is aware about, know about the story of Ramayana. There have a sequence that 14 year exile. Banavas. At that moment when Ramachandra, Lakshmana and Sita left Ayodhya, in that moment uh, Ramachandra had a number of devotees. They also want to come with them. But Ramachandra said, please don't come this time. One day, I will invite you. That will be in the Dwapur Yoga. I, Rama, will incarnate as Sri Krishna. And on the full moon night, I will call you and you all will be incarnate as Gopi. And we will play the divine Rasadira. Here comes Dwapur Yoga. Ramachandra incarnate Sri Krishna. So, on that night, on seeing the full moon of the Chaitanya, Sri Krishna remembered his promise to play a Rasadira with his Bhakta that he promised in the Treta Zoo. So, Krishna came out from the house of Nanda that we call Nandaloy and rushed to the Kunja bank of the Yamuna river and he played his musical flute and called his bhaktas, gopis. That journey in Manipuri dance we call Krishna Abhishya. After reaching to the Kunja, Krishna would play his 
his divine flute and call. So on hearing the sound of this flute, Radha Maharani and the Brajagopis who have their house over, they left over there and rushed to the Kunja. That portion we call Radha Avisha and Gopi Avisha. After listening to the Kunja, they play the divine Rasnila. Uh, it's my apology to all my dear audience that today we have a very limited artist. So today we are not having this Gopi. So all the audience of today, you all will uh, treat as a Gopi and take as a part of this Rasadina. Here we will play only the portion of Radha and the Krishna. Actually in, in Manipur, in traditional is Rasadina. At the end, when Radha and Krishna are in the Jugal Rupa, Krishna will be in this Jesus and Radha will be this. At that moment, the Brahmin will offer the Arti and conclude this dance. So in Manipur, we don't go to the temple to look or to watch the dance. We went to the temple to worship the dance. So in this, uh, uh, what to say, in this mind, if you worship, then in the last moment, all the bhaktas will stand together and join this arati and conclude uh, the rasadila. So, this very divine stage we will be creating as Vrindavan and you all always uh, will be as a copy and be a part of this Rasalina and have a darshan of Pashant Rasalina of Manipur. Thank you.